So let's talk a little bit about the Dentrix button and how we might offer this and how we offer this as a product or a solution. So there's obviously how we use it internally. Uh, we use it within one click referral um, to be able to send a referral from right inside of the actual toolbar in Dentrix. Mm -hmm. um, we call this the record link toolbar. Record link is our integration piece. Um, and so talk to uh, talk to me about obviously that's how we use it, but how can we also customize this? And maybe if you can give us a quick description on the Dentrix button and where it came about. Sure, sure. So the very quick basics is, is that the Dentrix button is an integrated application button from the Dentrix side that when the user will click this button, so they have to be trained in order to press this button. But uh, the concept would be that when they press this button, it will then, Dentrix will rather send us information about the currently selected patient. And then we can use that information to query additional access and uh, information from Dentrix, pop up additional UI to, you know, for example, in our case, we're sending referrals, right? So we actually pop up a, uh, uh, a window that asks them, which uh, referring provider would you like to send this to, right? And so we can use that uh, and pop up UI, et cetera, and then invoke a web service and hand it those those pieces of information so that we can actually send that referral properly over the internet, right? And so that's the way the current record link button works. And largely the underpinnings of this is that it's a very plug-in driven system, just like all of our other products. But the basis is, is that this Dentrix information and its integration point just provides us this patient information we take that information, perform additional queries, some UI, and then we take that and send it off to the internet. But your application necessarily wouldn't have to go out to the internet. It could just query the extra information and then process a payment, for example. Um, you know, it, it, the, the option is entirely as to what you want it to be and, and so on, and what your level of access is within the Dentrix, uh, uh, the, the, the Dentrix DDP or partner program. Um, and if you have the appropriate levels of access and so on, you can create providers, you can uh, add new patients to the database and, you know, all sorts of various things, create management consoles, run reports. It's entirely up to you as far as the actual endpoint of what your application is. But the basics of how this integration works is just incorporating the existing Dentrix API for sharing that patient context of whom is currently selected such that we can inform uh, the calling application, in this case, your application, that would then um, be capable of following additional steps and so on in order to gain additional access and information about the context of what's occurring. Yeah, love it. Yeah, and this is the only uh, practice management system where I've seen those customizable buttons, so thumbs up to Dentrix for allowing that. And Martin, thank you so much for working with us on building this. I mean, this is such a huge value add for um, software tools and other products that are out there that would want to invoke activities just directly within the system that the dental practices use all day, every day. So great invention. Thanks, yep. buddy. Yep, no problem.